Well, hello, hello, guys. Welcome back to Red Lentil Healing. I'm doing a bunch of energy reads this week for some reason. Just checking in on folks because, you know, I'm, I'm nosy. <laughs> this much petty, this much messy, and like that much nosy. If you've ever met a Libra, you know we are nosy. Not like violating like all in people's business, but like we will watch something just because we like to be entertained. True story. Um, <laughs> I was just at the grocery store and as I'm walking in, I hear two people screaming at each other and I'm like, oh my God, what's going on? And instead of like taking cover and just minding my business, like a normal person would do, I walk right up to the line and watch the two people fighting. That's how nosy a Libra is. <laughs> so <laughs> with my energy reads this week, I wanted to look at Dr. Jill Biden, Dr. First Lady Jill Biden. How was her first 100 days? Particularly, what is the energy she's carrying into the next 100 days? So, I don't know if any of you guys have seen this. She was giving like mad, like rich girl summer um, vibes. They did this, um, she's got this um, campaign going on. It's absolutely beautiful where she's like um, walking around and it's um, this beautiful photo op and there's like pictures of her. I think it's the Rose Garden. And it's like, you know, first hundred days ain't nothing. You know, watch me. I've got some more to, to do. And I'm just like, yes, Dr. Biden, give us this energy. Give us this energy. So I want to take a look at a couple things. Just to take a look at her chakras. Get a, um, how, what's she going to carry into the next hundred days just from an energy. Look at some um, messages. Maybe that some things that are the top of mind for her. And then just also look, um, just, you know, pull, let's pull three tarot, pull three tarot cards and kind of see um, what that will also indicate for us as well for Dr. Biden. So let's get into this energy first. Chakra system. We get heart chakra with forgiveness, heart chakra with love, extreme root chakra with nurturing and um, I'm going to sit third eye chakra. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Try this again throat chakra with listening okay so next hundred days here's what's happening she's still in the process of forgiveness something tells me um that i'm picking up <sighs> she and joe because i think joe um president biden if i remember when i did his uh first hundred days a, a week or two ago he got forgiveness too for um heart chakra um, there's a lot, this, how do I put this? The mess that they walked into, it's testing, okay. I'm not even gonna mince words, let me just say this. What the Trump administration left and the perils they left this country in, the, the, the divisiveness that they left this country in, it has really challenged their ability to just not forgive because they are forgiving people but they didn't realize the level of forgiveness they would need and would be challenged based off of everything that they've seen and been privy to these first hundred days. She's having to carry that. Both of them are going to carry a lot of that forgiveness, love, compassion, energy into the next hundred days. Her so more I get to heal, to move forward, we just have there's a forgiveness and it's her as a human being we don't forget the ills but to move forward i need this healing energy i have to in some way some way shape or form forgive anybody who's seen her knows she is one to clap back she does not i don't know why i'm clapping myself she doesn't play she does that mince words she is a woman of action and a woman of doing and so this while this love and this heart chakra forgiveness is easy for her because she is a woman of, or it comes natural to her she is a woman of faith it is really testing her if she's going to she's learning more the capacity to truly forgive and love she is learning that more and carrying that with her in the next 100 days with that too is going to come this nurturing she's really stepping into the plate the second hundred days as a first lady. What does this mean for me? What are some other campaigns and things that I want to bring? How do I nurture this country? 
as first lady and how do I nurture the role as first lady, extreme root chakra. So we're gonna see her a little bit more vocal, doing more kind of really stepping in and embracing this first hundred, um, second hundred days. Also some of the campaigns, some of the things she's doing, she's going to be doing more listening with throat chakra. Um, first hundred days, I felt like, um, let's get these campaigns rolling or let me feel, let me take notes, kind of feel the lay of the land. Second hundred days is I'm going to continue to be in listening mode. What do I need to pivot? What do I need to adjust? And I think this ties in again, this throat chakra with listening and this extreme root chakra with nurturing. How do I step into my role and truly embrace First Lady, Dr. First Lady Jill Biden. How do I show up? And what do I want to continue to do? Okay, so there's this from an energetic, energetic, energetic perspective. I'm going to get my words right today, I promise. <sighs> Intent and create, beautiful, and trust your instincts. Okay, so her messages, she's getting two, um, two on the ends of the spectrum for this particular deck. The first one is um, the animal guardian, which is trust your instincts. I'm sorry, the camera needs to focus again. Trust your instincts. So um, a guide, a message to Dr. First Lady Jill Biden would be trust your instincts. As you're listening and nurturing your role as First Lady, trust your instincts, what feels right because that's going to help you be so authentic, continue to be so authentically you. And then also intend and create. I think, again, all of this messaging, all of these messages and this energy so far is about how, I, uh, I hear it is, how to really step into her role as First Lady. I think she had an idea of what she thought and what she wanted to do. It's been 100 days, and she's like, woo, okay, what I thought, what I want, Ah, I may need to kind of not re-strategize, but let me fine tune this a little bit. So that makes a lot of sense. So intend and create and trust your instincts. Okay. Let's see how this next hundred days are going to go. Just using some, um, the tarot. We've got wheel of fortune, hmm, page of wands and the moon. Um, hmm. I'm sorry for the long pause. I'm getting, it's so funny because what I'm hearing and what the cards are aligning are a little different. Um, okay, here's what I got. Step in, just go out and do it. Step into your faith. Step into what you are meant to do because this is already predetermined. Whatever's going to happen with the Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Wands and the Moon, you may not know, we may not know, you may not know. But at this point, go out and do it because this was meant for you. This was predetermined and can't nobody take it from you. They can trash, they can yell, they can fuss, they can cry, they can scream, they can act like a whole billy goat's behind, but they can't take it away from you. So don't worry about the plans and things that are going on these young plans or things that you feel that may be a little too uh, premature to launch and you don't know how it's going to play out just remember that this they can't take it from you dr first lady jill Biden. this was meant for you and for the country and for the world at this place this space and this time okay all right hope you guys enjoyed until the next video please take care of yourselves and i'll see you guys later bye